Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Well, the imbue embargo, the imbue, the imbue, the imbue, the review embargo is now up for Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods. And that means, guess what guys? We have a critic score that we're gonna take a look at and we're gonna kinda check out and see what it's got right now is at 64% with 72 reviews over on Rotten Tomatoes. And um, that's not horrible, but it's not great either. And just to kind of show comparison, or right now we kind of have like the first movie with a 90%. So from 90% to 64%, um, that that's not really great to be honest with you. And it to me it just feels like we're we're continuing to be like Shazam got ninety percent, but we go ahead and we look at the new one and it's like sixty four percent. Now the of course the audience score isn't there yet. The movie comes out this weekend, so I for one have decided not to go see this movie. Um, we talked about this on my my live podcast on Sunday night. There was four of us on the live podcast, and me and my other friend Chris were like, we're, we're skipping out on the movie. So that means that two out of the four people decided we're not going to go see the movie. Um, to me, the trailers really didn't know what I'm going to get with this movie, and I pretty much seen the whole movie just through the trailers. You know, we're going to have Billy trying to fight with the, being a hero, and he doesn't have the strength, and at the end, he'll triumph and all that stuff and the marketing for this movie hasn't been that great and it's not tracking well at the box office this is going to be a much lower box office than the first movie i think this movie will be lucky if it hits 300 million i think it's going to tap out around 250 million um i don't think it's going to have a very big weekend maybe 25 to 30 million opening weekend and it's going to fizzle out from there and i just think this is a lot of people are just kind of like over it i i don't think think that people are really excited for this movie i know i for one really didn't even care about the first movie if you guys are subscribers to the channel been following the channel for a while uh, me and my friend film master adam kind of got into an argument when we reviewed the first movie because i just didn't care for the first movie i think they really messed up what the character of captain marvel aka shazam actually is and me and him get into this huge huge argument when we're reviewing that movie because he loved it right and and, and i just it didn't it didn't vibe with me and by no means do i say you guys need to look at this rotten tomato score and judge whether you're going to go see the movie on this score if you are someone who loved the first movie and you're looking forward to the second movie go see the movie if that is something that you are looking forward to don't let anybody i i say this all the time don't let anybody on YouTube, any critics, anybody try to change your mind from going to see something that you're looking forward to. I never let anybody alter my thinking process if I'm looking forward to something. If I want to go see something, I don't care if it has a 2% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to go see if I've been looking forward to it. If you've been looking forward to Shazam because you never know when we're going to have another one and we don't know if we're going to get a Shazam 3. So go see it if you're enjoying it. If you enjoyed the first one, then absolutely go check this out, man, because I think you're going to like it. I am just simply just reporting on the news that I see, reacting to it. And yeah, it, it's not doing well. Especially when you compare it to the first one. And I'm telling you, when the box office comes out, it's not going to be a very pretty sight. I think a lot of people are losing steam with these superhero movies. We can see over a Marvel where the trend is just going downward. We can sit here and speculate on all the different reasons. It, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. It, it, is the story writing weak? Are they adding too much, you know, like woke culture into it, too much inclusion stuff into it? Are the characters weak? We can go all day on whether or not what reason they are going downhill. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is they are going downhill. We see it. It's clear as day. Other than Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, and The Batman, each one of these movies underperformed what their expectations were. That is just the facts of the matter. That is all just factual comments that I am stating right here. So at the end of the day, it does not matter if the writing was better, there wouldn't be a fatigue. That's irrelevant to the conversation. The fact of the matter is, it is there is some sort of fatigue. People are not going to these movies. Me, for one, I am skipping out of Shazam 2. 
because I didn't like the first one. Why would I go see a second movie, a sequel to a movie I did not like that is part of a franchise that's about to be reset after The Flash? To me, that just doesn't make any sense. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, Jimmy? Am I wrong? What the hell do you know about anything, Jimmy? Go fuck your sister. Okay, that was a little much. But what I'm saying, people, is that if you're excited for the movie, go see the movie. That's all I'm saying. Don't let the Rotten Tomato score r- r- you know, detract from you to enjoy the movie. I think everybody should go and enjoy the movie if that is something they want to do. Me, personally, I'll be skipping out of this one. I'll wait for an HBO Max release or something like that. This is just not grabbing me and making me want to go see it in theaters. Maybe they need to do a better job marketing Or maybe these superheroes just need to do a better job in general. Or maybe we need something new. I don't know. But I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box. Smash that like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys all next time.